In the second part of this tutorial, I'll show you how to handle uh, the spacebar and the backspace delete key. So, first of all, the spacebar. Now, first of all, I'm going to do it using Logic Bricks. So, I want a keyboard uh, sensor. If I click here and press the spacebar, that will detect the press of the spacebar. I'm going to add, add a simple AND gate. The signal will go straight through there when the spacebar is pressed. And I'm going to add an actuator. And a property actuator and this will add to the property text a space character now the code has to be modified because this strips off the first character of the string and that's why we got an S when um, the keyboard event was spacebar so I'm going to have to modify this I'm going to put a comment uh, all letters and if we look at the Blender website all the letters begin with uh, the letter followed by the word key so the second letter is always K whereas with the other events the second letter isn't K so not a brilliant method but uh, I'm going to put here if the second letter now the second letter in the string array is indexed 1 the first being indexed 0 if that equals the letter K. Don't forget the colon at the end of an if statement. Then we strip the first letter off and that will work for all letters. Uh, now we shouldn't get the S when the spacebar is pressed so let's test that. So now if I type Mary had a and little lamb and so on we get the space bar now for the backspace key I'm going to set this up with logic bricks um, but in the end I'll show you how to do it all with Python code so I'm going to add a sensor keyboard sensor and I'm going to press the backspace delete key put that straight through an AND gate and not an AND gate a Python controller because there's no way we can use a property actuator to backspace and delete a character so we're going to have to write some code and I'm going to uh, just to focus purely on the backspace have a separate Python script for that so I'm gonna click the plus here to start a new Python script and I'm gonna call this backspace dot py and we link the controller to that like that and now we're ready to put the code in For the code I'm going to use the old here's one I made earlier trick. So if I copy this and paste that in. Now when you press the backspace it basically strips the last character off the string. So how do we do that? Well there's quite a few ways you can do it but this is a relatively straightforward way. First thing you have to do is find the length of the string and there's a Python built-in function called len that will find the length of a string. Now if that string, if we typed in Fred, uh, that should return four characters and so the length of the string will be four. 
Now just um, to keep the code a bit simpler, I've stored whatever is in the string in a variable called old string. So if it's Fred, Fred would go into old string. Now we want the last character so we can delete it. Now uh, for Fred, the first character will be stored in an array whose first the F will be in an index 0, the R will be in an index 1, the E will be in an index 2, and the D, which we want to delete, will be in index 3. So it's always the length of the string minus 1 to get at your last character in the string, the one we want to delete. And finally I use another built-in Python string manipulating function uh, write strip and that will strip the character on the right of the string that matches last char so that that will strip off the D from the old string and store the result back in our property text and so that will delete the last character. The sensor is called Backspace, so I need to name this sensor Backspace. And I need to link that up. Now if I start and type some text, if I press Backspace Delete, it works. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven logic bricks. Uh, and two Python scripts and it'd, it'd be a lot uh, simpler just to have two logic bricks and one Python script. So again here's one I made earlier. So let's have a little look at this code. We have the one sensor that senses all keys and the this is the one script that is then processes processes whichever key is pressed and you basically have an if statement for every key so if the spacebar is pressed and then you have the code that processes that event uh, often it's just adding the character to the end of the string but with backspace you have to do uh, various string manipulations um, because of a bit of a trickery, we've got all the letters covered by two lines of code and similarly you can do all the digits from the numpad with a couple of lines of code. But basically uh, that's it, the Python script for allowing text input at real time. That's the end of this tutorial. Uh, I've recently covered real time text display. Um, so with this real-time text input uh, I will be putting those together to make uh, a simple application in a future tutorial. Um, I'll put the two end versions uh, of the files that I've done in this tutorial on my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Uh, thanks for